Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be making three cup chicken. I'm making my dad's work lunch for tomorrow. I had these chicken drumstick marinated in Shaoxing wine, soy sauce, garlic, ginger for like two days. So it's definitely very well marinated. I'm gonna coat it with some sweet potato starch to let it thicken up in the sauce. First, we're gonna to toast some sesame oil with the garlic and ginger. And we're gonna wait until that browns. Then we're gonna to toast each side of the um, chicken drumsticks. Traditionally, this um, dish is made with um, like cubed chicken pieces. I just decided to use drumsticks because that's all I had at the time. And I already had to marinate it, so we're gonna be using that. But I do, I do believe that using chicken bite-sized pieces is a lot easier for this process and it cooks a lot faster. But either way, the ending result of the taste comes out the same. So we're gonna have it toasted on each side and I'm gonna add in some sugar here as well to let that coat through. And this is the marinade, so this is just a blend of sugar, um, soy sauce, cooking wine, a lot of garlic, and I'm just dumping that in. Here I am adding the sugar. Now everything I just add to taste, the ending result of this flavor is just a rich, savory, sugary, thick sauce. That's what it's supposed to be. But yeah, I'm just gonna let that cook a little bit, and now we're gonna add in more of the sauces. It's literally the, the same thing I said as the marinade. It's just cooking wine, light soy sauce and dark soy sauce. And we're just gonna reduce the heat to medium here and just let that braise because we're gonna need this chicken to braise and cook thoroughly. Now it's optional if you can't find dark soy sauce, just add more soy sauce, I guess, but the dark soy sauce gives it that really nice, like rich brown look that I like. And so you're just gonna keep an eye on it, kind of stir through it once in a while. And if you need to thicken up the sauce, you just add a little bit of um, cornstarch and water, but mix it on the side. Here's Nala. Every time I open up the lid and she smells the aroma, she comes back in from the backyard and she looks at me like, are you gonna give me some of that chicken? And for an, at, um, the final part is you add some basil. I honestly think this is optional because my dad doesn't like eating basil anyway, but traditionally three cup chicken is made with basil. So you just give that a little quick stir. Basil cooks super fast. It's really just for the fragrance of it. So here I am packing up his lunchbox. I'm just gonna add in some rice here. And then I'm gonna add in the uh, chicken drumsticks in there. And he actually told me just don't put any basil in the lunchbox, but yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much pack everything except for one, I'm gonna taste test one. But yeah, I see there's that rich sauce that I definitely wanna put on top and into the rice. I love sauce rice. Sauce rice just tastes so good. You have all that flavor and just mixed it with the rice, it just tastes amazing. But yeah, this is his lunchbox, and then let's try it out now. I actually had a lot of leftover sauce I can put in the fridge and just use that to saute with other meat as well, but I loved it. Came out really well. Chicken was cooked thoroughly and really fragrant. All the garlic and ginger marinade definitely came through. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. See you on the next video.